Hey everyone, Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. You know, even with my ugly mug clogging up the frame, what could be more photogenic than what's behind me? That's the Goodyear blimp. Wingfoot 3, it's called. They've got three of them. Flying airships is kind of complicated and way different than airplanes, but what most people don't realize is they have to be tended 365, 24-7 on the ground. Here's Jay Dewan of Goodyear Airship Operations to tell us how it all works. Uh, the most challenging part is when we have um, kind of rain coming coming going because you have the sun that heats the airship and you have to add ballast and then if you have a bunch of rain you have to remove it quickly and then it gets sunny again and you have to add it again so it's kind of back and forth and uh, especially in a place like uh, Florida uh, it can be quite difficult. Precipitation just adds a lot of weight to the airship so it can get wet uh, we just have to adjust ballast accordingly. And uh, temperature, um, once uh, the airship hits about 50 degrees Celsius, that's kind of where we uh, can't, can't go flying because uh, the uh, systems have to be cooler than that. And if we have, like, um, just the other day, we had a situation where we probably would have seen 50 degrees Celsius. We actually had to have the airship take off early in the morning to remain cool. The airship needs constant monitoring, and uh, so before we turn someone loose on it, uh, they're doubled up with somebody, and. We go through all the different airship systems and they need to be able to adjust trim and add and remove ballast as necessary. It, it takes a long time for someone to get fully trained up on everything. Um, I think if you think of yourself as an expert, then uh, you're, you're not as good. You have to always consider yourself a student of aviation and, and airships especially. Oh, well, today um, I'm on a B watch, which is the, the morning watch uh, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, that's, uh, we call that the superheat watch because uh, the sun comes out and heats up the helium and uh, it gains a lot more lifts. So we have to add a lot of ballast to the airship. Um, we put about 680 kilograms of water weight on board. And then uh, if that's not enough, then we have uh, shot bags, which weigh 10 kilograms. Um, it, it depends on the conditions, but today we have ideal conditions for superheat. Um, the broad side of the airship is facing the sun and it's not cloudy, so uh, it will heat up uh, probably within an hour or two, and then we'll see peak superheat around the heat of the day around uh, noon to 1 p.m. Uh, so we have, uh, there's uh, one main helium chamber, and then there's two uh, internal uh, air balloons called ballonets, which is the French word for balloons. And uh, as the helium heats up, it, uh, we actually have to valve that out. And it does happen automatically somewhat, but then we also adjust it to get the right weight on the, the aft landing gear over there. Uh, we try to avoid valving helium at all costs. Um, it's a little difficult to get on the road, um, and it, it all depends on what our operations are, but we try not to add it, have to add it too much. And we actually have some helium cylinders because we might have to go uh, pretty high up. Uh, we have a skydiving event today, so we may have to valve helium. 
we reach something called pressure height, and that's where the helium expands so much that we overpressurize the envelope. So to avoid damaging it, we have to valve it out. But the higher you go, the more the helium expands. So the truck is uh, our most critical piece of ground support equipment. Um, it goes wherever the airship goes. Um, it, it will actually fold down and, uh, and be nice and compact for the road. And uh, once we get to where it's going, we'll, we'll telescope the mast up and put all the outriggers out. And uh, we winch the ship on with a, a big electronic winch. Um, but what we'll do is, is we call hopping the airship. So we'll send the truck ahead of, of the airship to the next location we're going. And that way we're, we're ready because the airship, this airship uh, generally travels a little bit faster than uh, how, how fast we can travel on the road. The, uh, the mast hel helps the uh, airship act like a giant windsock. So it, it'll rotate 360 degrees around the mast based on wind. And uh, it can also go, it allows us to go up uh, so we can fly the ship. When it gets really windy, the safest place for the airship is uh, in the air. So we'll actually lighten the ship up, adjust the trim and ballast so that we'll have that aft landing gear off the ground and we'll do what's called flying on the mast. Uh, we won't have the engines, but we'll have the uh, control surfaces and I'll actually sit in the pilot seat and uh, keep it off the ground. It could, be, it could be for an entire eight hour shift, yes. The strongest ones I've seen are, are 50 knot winds uh, where I was flying it on the mast down in Florida. So it, our, our, the mast truck is, is quite stable with the outriggers and everything. As long as there's helium uh, in the airship, it's washed 24 seven. Depends on the maintenance schedule, but um, when we do, um, uh, I believe it's a phase one inspection, we actually uh, suspend the airship to the ceiling and remove all the helium. That way uh, our maintenance team can go in and do inspections and perform other uh, updates as needed.